Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to sixth grade, chapter two, lesson four. We're going to go ahead and get started. You guys are going to wind up loving me because they are super easy once you get used to them. So we get to reduce using a top number and a bottom number. It doesn't matter which top number and bottom number as long as um, it's a top and a bottom, okay? So we're going to start with three. Three will go into 21 seven times. So I'm going to cross out my three and put a one because three goes into three once. And three goes into 21 seven times. Okay, so now I'm going to do the four. Okay, four and 16. Well, four goes into four once, and four goes into 16 four times. So now when I multiply straight across, I get one times four is four, and one times seven is seven. Four seven. Pretty easy. Here we go. Okay. We're going to do one more before I set you guys off to do these on your own, okay? So, 15. Well, I could do 15 and 20, but if I do that, then I can't use that 2 to cancel out. So, I'm going to do 15 and 5 and 2 and 20, okay? So, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 15 three times, okay? So, now... 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 20 10 times. So now if I multiply straight across, I get 3 over 10. Already reduced. Okay? Now you guys do 4 through 12. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay. Number 13 says, Amber has a four-fifths pound bag of colored sand. She uses half the bag to make an art project. How much sand does she use for the project? So, four-fifths, and she used half of that. Number of means multiplication when we're dealing with math, okay? So now, two goes into two once, two goes into four twice, okay? When I multiply straight across, I get two over five, two-fifths of, oh, nope, two-fifths pound, sorry, my bad, okay, two-fifths of a pound, okay, Tyler has three quarters month of a month to write a book report, he finished the report in two-thirds of that time, so two-thirds of multiplication, three quarters, now, I love using ones that have the same number in them somewhere on the top and the bottom because it means those threes can cancel out and become one. Okay? Now I just have two and four. Well, I know two goes into two once and two goes into four twice. So one times one, one. One times two, two. Half month. There you go. Okay? We're going to turn it over. You guys are going to do the lesson and check on the back on your own. We'll go down to the spiral review. Okay? You guys are going to do one and two. We're going to go to three. Ramon bought a dozen ears of corn for $1.80. What was the cost of each ear of corn? So, a dozen is 12 and $1.80. Okay? Make sure we move that decimal up right away. Okay? All right. Now, 12 is not going to go into 1, placeholder. 12 will go into 18, 1 time, 12, subtract, get 6. Okay. So now, I can bring that 0 down, and I know that 12 will go into 60. 5 times, 5 times 12 is 60. 0, so that would be 0.15, or you can put 15 with that C behind it, the line through it, okay? All right, a 1.8 ounce jar of cinnamon costs $4.05. What is the cost per ounce? Well, we need that $4.05 and the 1.8. Well, we know that we can't have a decimal on the outside, so I'm going to put that here, which means I need to move this one here and put it up, okay? Now, I know that 18 is about 20, so I'm going to guess that 18 is going to go into 40, because it won't go into 4, into 40 twice. 
2 times 8 is 16. Carry that 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3, 36. Okay? So now, 0 can't take away 6. I need to borrow 1, make that 10. That's 4. Okay? Now, okay, I can bring down my 5 because the 4 is smaller than the 18. Okay? Now, I'm going to guess I can't get another 18 in after 36. So I'm going to hit 2 again. Okay. Now, 5 cannot take away 6. So I'm going to borrow that, make that a 5, 9. Okay. I'm going to add a 0, bring it down. And I'm going to say that 90... Okay, the 18 can go into 90. I'm going to try five times. Five times eight is 40. Carry that four. Five times one is five plus four more. Oh, is 90. Look at that. So each ear of corn, oh, I'm sorry, that was the one before. So per ounce, cinnamon costs $2.25. Okay, that dollar sign is your label. Okay. You can write per ounce. That's totally fine. Okay. Rose bought 7 20th kilogram of ginger candy and 0.4 kilograms of cinnamon candy. Which did she buy more of? Okay. Now remember, when we are doing math, it is easier to make them into decimals to compare them as opposed to making them into um into fractions, okay? So I am going to do seven, it goes in the box, 20 goes outside. Now, 20 is not gonna go into seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a decimal, put a zero, okay? Find another color so you can see it. So 20 is gonna go into 70, 20, 40, 60, that's three times. If I go again, that's 80, that's too much, okay? So, if I subtract, I get 10, okay? So now I'm going to add a zero, bring it down. 20 will go into 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, okay? Five times. Okay, so now you could say 7 20th equals 0.35. So now, that's ginger candy, that's cinnamon candy. Ginger candy, 0.3, cinnamon candy, 0.4. So, more cinnamon candy. Okay, and this explains how you know that. Okay, all right. Don walked three and three fifths miles on Friday, 3.7 miles on Saturday, and three and five eighths miles on Sunday with the distances from least to greatest. So again, we're going to use our scrap paper. Okay. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now we know Saturday was 3.7. Okay. Now we need to find out, and we know that. Friday and Sunday both start with three because it has three as a whole number, okay? But we need to find out three-fifths, okay? So now five's not going to go into three, right? So it's decimal, zero, and five will go into 30 six times. Six times five is 30, so this one is 0.6, okay? Then I'm going to do with a... 5 eighths, so 5 would be in the box, and 8 would be outside the box, okay? 8's not going to go into 5. I need to put a decimal, okay? 8 will go into 50 6 times because 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract, I get 2, okay? 2 is smaller than 8, so I'm going to add a 0 and bring it down. 2 will go into, oh, I didn't lift up that. Add me. Okay. 8 will go into 
20, two times, two times eight is 16, get four, okay? Now, let's see. I'm gonna do one more zero and bring it down just so that we've got it. And eight will go into 40 five times, which is 40, subtract is zero. So, one, six, two, five. So, I went that far because this one is 0.6 and this one is 0.6. And I wanted to be perfectly clear on which one was working, okay? Now, I could put zeros there and I could put zeros there and that way they all have the same amount of numbers after the decimal. Okay, so now it says from least to greatest, so the smallest number first, okay? They all start with three, that's not gonna help me. This one and this one go to six, that one's a seven, so it's gonna be one of the sixes, okay? The next number is a zero or a two, so zero is going to be first. So three and Friday was three and three fifths, okay? All right, then that one's 3.7, that one's 3.6. So Sunday is going to be 3 and 5 eighths on Sunday. And then our last one of 3.7 on Saturday. Okay, that is your lesson 2.4. Come on back for 2.5 soon.